Gearheads, Jeff from Gear Report here at Royal Tiger Imports in sunny Florida uh, to show you a variety of classic military surplus firearms that they have for sale on their website. You can go to RoyalTigerImports.com and check them out. Right now, we're going to talk about the U.S. military surplus M1 carbine. Uh, TJ, is it carbine? Carbine. I'm going to go with carbine. Carbine. Okay, the M1 carbine. There were 11 manufacturers of the M1 carbine. Nine of them have been uncovered so far. They're still digging guns out of crates here. But I think that we have nine of them represented so far. These are the, the old ones. You well, know, they he had uh, he'd set some out of different types too. Uh, let's see. That was a yeah, it's national postal. Meter. postal. Now, this yeah. one has a marking story for the police. Now, which one is this one? That is um, quality. Quality hardware. Okay, let's yeah. grab this one. That looks nice. All right. We're going to get to looking at some early and late examples of those here shortly. But first, a little bit of background. And forgive me as I refer to my notes here. These are all original U.S. manufacturer guns that were delivered to Ethiopia between 1945 and 1948. They are pretty much untouched. They have not been modified, although some of them have been upgraded. So some of the early models have the flip sight and lack of a bayonet lug at the front, whereas the later models will have the Type 2 sight with the little hood around it. We'll look at those later. And the bayonet lug up front. They have a variety of the early guns that are in untouched condition, but uh, I'm told that they're getting kind of low on stock on those. So if you have interest in picking one up in unissued condition, an original M1 carbine, you probably want to head over to Royal Tiger Imports quickly and get your order in. If you order a gun that has been issued, you're going to receive it with a 15 round magazine that was issued. Okay, if you order an unissued gun, you're going to get a magazine that is unissued and still in the wrapper. Are those up here? Okay, we'll come back to that. And they also have a very limited number of original bayonets to go with the M1 carbine. So why don't we dig in and I'll, I'll show you some examples of what you might find if you order one, what you might receive. And we talked about the bayonet, so let's start with that. This is the original with the leather handle. And, and I'll tell you, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you need to clean that up. And, and collectors would say, no, 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 leave it the way it is. You can probably have some input on that if you want to order one. Tell them you're untouched or go ahead and clean it up and maybe they'll be able to help you with that. This one has definitely been used. It has seen better days, but that is an original M1 carbine bayonet. Let's uh, take a look at probably what most people want to see, the original unissued condition. Check this out. It's even got the sling still on it. Uh, it's a later model with the bayonet lug and then the, I called it a hood. I'm not sure if that's what we called on this Type 2 rear sight. And it is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if you can make out this little cartouche here. We've got the cross cannons there. And I looked under, there's not anything there. There's nothing on the bottom. Uh, just a little bit of rub here. Uh, actually, that looks like brazing material in here. I'm not sure. Um, this is, I don't see a barrel marking. Uh, that looks like a, a D or a P maybe stamped in there. And they've got a very discreet little import mark on the bottom. We can even overlay some video of how that import mark is made in a machine right off camera here. Uh, let's see, what else is there to talk about here? I mean, unissued, untouched. This one appears to be inland as the manufacturer. So let's see what else you might find if you order. Here's an example of one of the early types with the flip sight in the back. So it doesn't have that hood around it. And then um, up here on the front, you'll notice that bayonet lug that we saw on the other one is not here. This, uh, I grabbed this one out of the pile because it had kind of that blonde furniture on the bottom and a little bit of the darker up top. And, and they got a variety of, of different examples there. This one is marked as inland. And in here, uh, it says PJ, 
I don't see a cartouche on this side. Let's see if there are any other marks here. And, and I'll tell you, this is what attracted me as a, as a CNR collector myself. Each one of these firearms is neat as a tool, but kind of the story of the different markings uh, has always been kind of fascinating to me. And you'll notice this has got the push button safety down here as well, uh, whereas some of the newer models have the little lever. So uh, let's move, oh, what is this? That says QU right here on the sling attachment at the front. Let's move on and see what else we have. All right, this is another one of the early with the flip side in back, no bayonet lug. We've got the push button safety um, on this darker wood. Uh, oh, this is an IBM receiver and IBM, yeah, I'll tell you, um, I need longer arms, I think, as my eyes are failing me. IBM barrel, IBM receiver. I am not seeing any markings, no cartouche on either side, nothing, no P down here. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, you talk about something in kind of original condition. That is, uh, that's pretty interesting. Um, and, and of the ones that I've looked down the barrel, I'll tell you, um, most of these have really strong uh, rifling and clean barrels. I we ran into one when we were digging through the pile yesterday that had a uh, little bit of uh, dust in it. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah, that's a very nice, may, maybe just a, a, a speck or two of dust here or there, but that, that's a pretty nice looking barrel. I don't know that they've throat gauged any of the barrels, but uh, it, it looks pretty clean, pretty nice. Another one that we pulled off the pile here. I believe this one is a Rockola. I think the next two were Rockolas. And we've got a uh, PU inside the back, little cut for the sling. Got the Type 2 with the, the, the little guard around the sight, the bayonet lug. We have the switch for the safety instead of the push button. Oh, here's that circle P on the bottom. So you never know what, what you're going to pull out of here. Um, and this has a Rockola marked barrel, and the receiver was marked Rockola as well. And, uh, and you see the original sling has got, it's got a little bit of wear on it. I think this has been carried like that. That, that is a very nice looking rifle. All right, this one is marked IBM Corp. And uh, let me put the sling back up here. That was hanging loose. There we go. Trying to see down in here what type of receiver. Oh, this, this is interesting. Right here on the rear tang, it actually says Rockola. Now the other one, had Rockola written up above the serial number. This one has it down uh, on the tang. That's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not an M1 carbine expert. I, I have had a couple. I know a little bit about them, not too much. And I actually can't tell. That looks like RMC stamped in here. Oh, this is the one that says RMC on this side too. So RMC, it's inside a little rectangle and it has the cross cannons cartouche under it. So, yeah. Oh, did you see? Look at that. The hair stood up on my arms. I, this one, this one's nice. Um, you know, one of the challenges of doing videos like this is um, I want to take them all home with me. I don't think, I don't think Uli's going to let me do that. Uh, maybe I could talk him out of one of them. We'll see. I didn't bring that much money with me. Um, all right. So now it's, I, I want to let that run. And I'm just going to grab some of the others he pulled over here. All right, a couple examples of magazines. Here is one that, uh, honestly, I think the wrapper just came off. This appears to be unused, not in the wrapper. And this is still in that uh, treated uh, wrapping uh, absolutely brand new, unissued. So another.
couple examples of the original 15 round mags that you can get. Set those there. And we grabbed a few more guns. So let's show you. What is that? Quality manufacturer? I'm not sure what that is. Qual oh, hard qual quality hardware machine company, something like that. Yeah, all right. And this says uh, Inland Manufacturing General Motors 144 on the barrel. So uh, the quality hardware back here, Inland there. This is the early flip sight, no bayonet lug, push button on your safety. And uh, I don't see a cartouche here. Um, there's a little something. This looks like the, oh, the flaming bomb cartouche in here in the, the little sling slot. So that is, that is interesting. You never know what you're going to find digging through here. All right. All right, what do we got here? This is a national postal meter. And I got to tell you, I, I've had an inland and, and uh, I've had a couple M1 carbines. I've never had anything kind of exotic. It is amazing to put my hands on all these. That's an Underwood uh, 943 barrel with the little flaming bomb on it. Early sight, no bayonet lug, push button safety. We've got the remnant of some sort of, I don't know if that's trench art or or, or scarring it kind of looks like a ta something i can't really tell what that is uh we have uh what's left of a <laughs> of a original sling and i don't see any marking in that slot nothing up underneath uh, if i'm if i'm missing something leave a comment next time we look at them i'll i'll look in whatever that additional place is uh, i'm sure i'm missing lots of stuff here I'm seeing different kinds of sling swivels too, I'm noticing. This one is like a stamped piece that's flat and, and cut out. It says UN, and then let's move on to this next one, has the uh, bent wire on that sling uh, attachment. And this sling is uh, just hanging on on one end, the Type 2 sight, but without the bayonet lug, this barrel is an IBM marked barrel and the receiver oh, I have to get the flashlight out for this one. Oh, that's not a flashlight <laughs> oh and it's an IBM receiver as well it's IBM receiver IBM barrel marking uh, that mix of the the uh, later sight with no bayonet lug and we've got the uh, the cross cannons cartouche here on that side. Oh, and the circle P down here on the bottom. It's exciting. You never know what we we're going to find here. Yeah, that, that's a neat looking one. Let's see, I don't think we looked at this one. Ah, what does that say? IBM. IBM on the barrel and. IBM back here. Oh, what? That can't be right. That's interesting. I swear that says IBM above the serial number, but then back here on the tang it says Rockola. Interesting. I don't even know if that's possible. Maybe my eyes are failing me, but that's sure what it looks like to me. Um, the, the Type 2 sight in the back, uh, but the push button and no bayonet lug, and uh, RMC. I think this is the one we looked at earlier. Yeah, I just dug it out again. Here we have, I think this is the last one we're gonna look at here. I do not see a marking at all on the barrel. All right, what is this? I, all right. Erwin Peterson. He said there were no Erwin Petersons. So what would this be? Not in the, I think this is a Winchester. That must be a W. Yeah. Yeah, so that makes this a Winchester. No marking on the barrel. And uh, uh, again, no bayonet lug underneath, but then we have the Type 2 sight on the back. Nothing on the stock there. This has uh, all right, is this a six or a nine? I don't know. Uh, kind of looks like either one. 
and the same on this side. It, it kind of, it's oriented like it's a nine over here on that side of the stock. So uh, just some examples. All of these are in the condition they came out of the pile. They haven't been cleaned up. Uh, and I know they do kind of wipe them down, get the dirt off, rub some oil on them so they don't rust. Uh, but they don't really do a lot else to them because they want you to get them in the condition that, that they received them. Oh, and there's an M on this mag release. I, I, I suspect that uh, means something. All right, if you have any questions about these, leave a comment. Yeah, they're a little dirty. And uh, you can find them at royaltigerimports.com. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. A big thanks to our patrons for helping us bring you more unbiased, hands-on reviews. Thank you very much, and we'll see you at the range. Thank you.